What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're going to be showing you guys how to beat this epic winner challenge. I've had a lot of people in the comments asking how do we beat this. I'm going to show you guys how I three start it. Uh, I was playing around with it and got lucky my first try. So I'm going to try to replicate that guys. If you're pumped up for it, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. But let's hop into it. Let me show you how I three start the epic winner challenge. All right guys. So if we take a look at this base, it's a little bit interesting. And I think when I did this, I got a little bit lucky. Uh, what I did was I threw the five Santa spells onto those single target infernos however like it didn't seem like we get a lot of damage in there but we're going to try to replicate it let's go in like this let's go one two three four five right in there make sure your warden is on ground sometimes you might have a warden not on ground if you're a lower town hall so we get a little bit of damage through there now let's go with the ice golem here let's get some ice wizards in there all right so we're all working through there and then we're just going to run in everything else right up the middle here. King, Queen, Warden. All right up the middle. Alright, so we can go ahead and we can send in Ice Hounds right in through there. Both the Ice Hounds going in. We can actually freeze this Eagle Artillery. I'm going to go ahead and send in my Royal Champion as well. And when those Ice Hounds pop, they're going to actually do... Uh, they're going to do a little freeze as well, so that'll help us out. So Royal Champion's going to work through here. All right, let's go ahead and freeze the town hall. And then we will want to try to save a couple freezes if possible. Uh, so King's working in. I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop the Warden's ability right in here as we finish off the town hall here with the Royal Champion. All right, and we'll also get down the enemy queen. And we can throw in the Seeking Shield. Let's go ahead and freeze right here to protect our King. Nice, perfect. Let's hit our King's ability. Go ahead and freeze here, freeze that Royal Champion. All right, so, so far we're looking pretty nice. King's working through. It's really gonna be all on the heroes here, guys. You're really gonna lean heavily on your heroes. All right, so our real champion's looking nice. We still do have all those archer towers on the outside, but we have our queen over there. And honestly, you might have to try this multiple times. I don't know how I got this the first time. Uh, I got lucky that I had enough up to finish off the king at the end. There's a lot to do with that king at the end, uh, but check this out. We're gonna get through and we'll get the three star in this base. And that's how you beat this little challenge map. I honestly, I wish they would do more of these. Like this is really, really cool uh, and really, really fun. But this, I'm sure there's more than this way to beat this map as well. Uh, so, you know, if you find a different way, definitely let me know in the comments. Let me know how you guys beat it. But this is the way that I beat the map. And it's all about just getting the heroes in there and just using those hounds properly to get enough through. Uh, we'll use the queen's ability there. And then we take out that King's Pedestal, and there we go. We beat the challenge map for a three-star. And then, of course, after you get that three-star, you get 500 experience, 15 gems, and that shovel of obstacles. Hopefully, this one helped you guys out. A short little video trying to beat the epic winner challenge. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing. With winner officially here in Clash of Clans, grab a blanket, snuggle up, and watch this playlist for more videos.